guys, veteran vlogger here at a buffet. Uh, I figured I'd let you guys know. Uh, it's in the afternoon. I'm having lunch. Uh, and uh, it's called Red Walk Buffet. I don't know if you've ever, I don't know if they're all around or what, but I'm going to show you what they have uh, at the buffet. Oh, well, first here we have plush toys. Do any of you ever play this thing? Uh, I've spent so many dollars over the years. I don't know. It'd be interesting to own one of those. But anyway, let's get to the food. I'm going to start out with the dessert sections. Uh, oh, those look good. And interestingly enough, I know that if you're diabetic, you're overweight, you really shouldn't be going to buffets. But I've been to many buffets where the food's really healthy. And they don't have a lot of sugar-free desserts. And I think... Uh, well, this place doesn't have any sugar-free desserts. Uh, and it would be beneficial if they did. And then we have our salads. Ooh, I'll probably hit up on the macaroni salad. And shrimp. There's shrimp there. An array of toppings. Yeah, that all looks good. And then here is the draw to Red Walk Buffet for me. It's the sushi. Oh, look at all the different types they have. I love this one. Uh, different types. This is such a pretty food. I mean, they really take time and really make it look nice. And then all these. Now this is kimchi, which I learned recently at a Korean barbecue that I like kimchi. Um, and this is squid, or calamari, some would say. I like fried calamari, but I'm not into the chewy calamari. And then they offer an array of fruits, and jellos, bananas with some kind of, I'm assuming, strawberry sauce. And then they have a hot grill here, a barbecue grill. Now you can pick your foods here, you can see. And, oh, and over here, the meats. Oh, I love barbecue ribs. But you can pick it and they'll heat it up for you or cook it for you uh, into a dish that you like. And then let's go over here to the main buffet. So starting out with your traditional Midwest food, potatoes and gravy. I am a meat and gravy kind of guy with rolls. And then we have, I don't know what that is, a chicken of some sort and pizza. This one's empty, so I'm not sure. It says Mexican style fajitas. The fajitas must, must be popular. And then over here to the Asian food, uh, I don't know if that's a politically correct way to say that, but uh, all the yummies, more catfish, uh, I bet Dutch Creek uh, videos, I bet he likes uh, catfish, do you? <laughs> and then, there we go. Do you guys use chopsticks when you come to restaurants like this? Uh, I do. Anyway, oh, and then mushrooms. Over there is my favorite. The pot stickers. Pot stickers are delicious. Green beans, those are healthy. I'll get lots of those. And then we have crawfish, more fish. Hope the camera's not fogging up. I can't see it. And then over here, we have egg rolls, and then chicken nuggets for the little ones. Everybody, when you come to these places, kids flock on chicken nuggets. The barbecue chicken sticks, I like those. It's all really good hot food. Egg drop soup, love egg drop soup. Not a lot of people, I've uh, never been around people that ate a lot of egg drop soup. I tried it, I love it. I think it's actually pretty healthy for you. I like to, of course, mix the onions and the little crunchy breads that go with it. And then we have hot and sour soup, which is really good. And I've never seen this before, so I don't know what that is. Uh, it looks like with shrimp. <laughs> and then fried bananas. 
I'm not a big fried banana guy, but, but then I'm not a regular banana guy either. Onion rings, wings, and cheese wontons. Oh, oh my god, cheese wontons are so good. Anyway guys, so that's where I'm eating today. Uh, and we're eating together with a bunch of other veterans, uh, about eight of us. And uh, instead of going to our normal group down at the VA. And uh, I'll get back with you uh, after I get my plate <laughs> and show you what I got. Alright guys, I got my food together. And I have, I went with sushi, as I told you up there, I really like it, right? And pot stickers. Oh, my favorite. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Um, I like them a little more crispy, though. But I think decently, they're made with, um, made with, um, so let's, let's try this here. Mmm. That was really good. I don't know what kind of sauce it was, but it was good. Well, thank you so much. What's your name? It's a vlog. <laughs> Ting. Ting? <Not> nice to <laughs> see A lovely waitress. Anyway, I got some chicken. And, uh, so far, it's actually very, very, very good. So I'm going to eat this first round, and then I'll come back to you guys the second round. Remember, it's a buffet. And guess what? The buffet was literally only 10 bucks. So think about that. All right, get back with you guys shortly. Hey, guys. I'm back round two. Uh, here's what I got. I got some sausage, fish, uh, some of the catfish uh, comment about Dutch Creek. I don't know why I said that other than you're from the south, uh, Dutch Creek, but that's what I meant by that. Uh, this is spicy chicken and faux crab. Fake crab. I don't know. Fake crab is just as good as real crab, I suppose. But I'll get some of you that argue that point. Anyway, so this will probably be my last plate. We'll see. I'll get back to you after. Hey, guys. Been trying this. I'm going to take back what I originally said about fake crab being better than real crab. Well, at least this crab is not that good. But the chicken, spicy chicken, that's pretty tasty. I haven't tried this catfish here. Let me try it. It's deep fried, so very good. Anyway, I never know what to say when you do an eating video. Mmm, that's so good. I see other people do that, but anyway, next time you probably see me, it'll be closing the video. I'm gonna eat this and I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right, bye. All right, guys, uh, so I'm done eating. There's where I ate at, Red Walk Buffet. Uh, it is located on Thomas Road, East Thomas Road, in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, it was delicious. It was good. I got to talk to several of my buddy friends, uh, vets. <clears throat> Some of them, normally we meet at the VA. We decided to uh, come here. Because, uh, well, we're trying to get out and do things more. That's the goal for most vets, to get out and do things with other veterans. So, uh, hold on one second. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <coughs> the lighting kind of sucked. It still does. Anyway, long story short, that was fun. i got to head back home. Uh, i got to find Snowball. Uh, what else? Today I'm not really doing anything after this. It was my one day to, uh, I don't know, do other things with other vets and uh, get out of the house. So it was fun. Uh, oh, by the way, here's my car. It is a, I call it Snowball, as you can see the reason why. Uh, it's a Chevy Cruze. Uh, love it. It's a good car. <coughs> Anyway, uh, other than that, I just want you guys to know that I, I love you, and uh, I thank you. Remember, thank a vet, because vets definitely thank you.
Take care. Bye.